Oh, there he is. Yes, sir. Yo, what's poppin'? I just got done working for the day and I'm gonna get right to it. I have maybe 45 minutes to fish, so this is going to be a quick hitting video. My friends, I am going to be fishing with this little tiny crankbait. This is a Yozuri snap bean and it is in the pink color. My friends, it's October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I've still actually got my pink Ned rig video going. It's the fundraiser. So if you haven't seen that video yet, check it out linked in the description below. That being said, I've actually never been to this pond right here. It looks juicy. I gotta believe there's a bluegill, a bass. There's gotta be something down there and I'm gonna catch it. So let's get started. I got my fanny pack, you already know. Man, I tell you what, I have like no time to fish these days. So I was like, whatever, I'm gonna throw my fishing pole in the car. And if I get lucky, I'm gonna have like 30 minutes to fish. So here we are. I discovered a new body of water, zero idea. There actually might not even be fishing here because this is just like a little pond and fish would have had to have been stocked in here. I would imagine there's gotta be something stocked in here. It's big enough, we'll see. Oh my gosh, a bass just torched it. He missed it. First cast. I love these little Yozuri snap beans. They're actually pretty popular, but these are probably like one of the world's smallest crankbaits, honestly. They're, they're really small. Oh my gosh, there he is. That has to have been the same bass. Oh my gosh, not a bad one either. What the heck just happened? Guys, I love this. I'm so thankful for this fish right here. I have not been fishing near as much as I would like to. And a little bass like this on ultralight is freaking awesome. Yes, sir. Random pond prevails. Boom, it just torched it. Look at that. Look at that. Thankful I have this attached to my fanny pack. We're just gonna go ahead and grab that hook. And we're gonna get that out. Boom. And now this beautiful little bass can go home. Dude, that's freaking awesome. Heck yes. All right. I didn't even know if there was gonna be fish in this pond. And that guy just came out of nowhere and just destroyed this. I've never been here in my life. I randomly just found it on my Google Maps. Here we are. Gotta imagine there's more where that came from, you know? I had a bite on the first cast and then he came back and ate it on the second cast. There's gotta be more down there, huh? Oh, one just swiped at it. Oh, another short strike. Something just swam by it. That actually looked like a bluegill. Oh, a bluegill just tried to nab it. Dang it. I've had short strikes now by like three different fish. What is going on? Come on, come on, come get it. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh, that bass just destroyed it. God, that is fun. When they come out of nowhere and just slam it. God, I'm not talking about big fish here, but my friends, when they aggressively chomp a little crankbait like that, and then they just peel the drag. That is a freaking blast. Look at that. That one ate it really good too. Golly, I love this little thing. This is fun right here. This is just straight up fun. I think the bass do like this little crankbait because they are eating it well. Then again, they don't really have another option seeing as the crankbait is a whopping one inch long. Beautiful little fish right there. Freaking love it, man. All right. I'm not gonna claim that this takes a ton of skill this is totally just like a pond that probably does not get very much pressure because people probably don't even realize there's fish in here. But here we are. It's not about skill today. It's about making the most of the fact that I have 30, 40 minutes to catch a couple of fish. I'm trying to keep it. Oh my gosh. Oh my Lord. That does not get old, my friends. No, it popped off. That tiny little treble hook came out. That fish was similar to the other two. It might've actually been a little bit bigger. Of course, the one I lose is probably my best fish yet, but holy smokes, that does not get old. Twitch, 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 bam. Literally, I'm telling you guys, it's like topwater fishing. This thing's getting down there maybe six inches to a foot, nothing too deep. So I can see it the whole way back because I'm standing pretty high. The bank is kind of steep, so I can see it down there. And I just see that pink, little crankbait twitch twitch twitching in and then out of nowhere these fish just completely slam it it is so much fun to watch i really wish i would have landed that fish but he got me down in the grass just got a little bit of a slack line and he popped that treble hook free oh i just saw something wake towards the bank there oh there he is i cast it right where something had waked the surface i think this is actually a gill maybe i don't know maybe it's a, just a dinky bass yeah it's just a dinky bass i thought it was a big old gill at first I'll take it. I'll certainly take it. No, he got me off too. You see what happened? He got down in that grass, buried the hook probably in a lot of that vegetation, and then it just gives him enough leverage to just pull free. There he is. No, did I lose this one too? Dag gummit. 
That happened again. That was definitely a fish. They keep getting me in the grass and pulling off. Oh my gosh, he ate it off the surface. Daggum it! Folks, quick update. I tell you what, I am having an absolute blast out here. This little crankbait right here is so much fun to fish. Here's the problem. I keep missing fish and I'm really flustered by that. But at the end of the day, I'm fishing right now. And you guys, you don't understand how happy I am right now because I feel like I just haven't got very much time to fish lately. And so being here right now, catching some fish on ultralight, God, it feels so good. Anyways, let's get back to it because I've only got probably like 15 more minutes. So I want to keep my bug in the water. Let's go. Come on. Oh, there he is. Okay, I'm landing this one. You're not getting off. Oh my Lord. Did you see how much drag that guy pulled? He's not even that big. Do not get in that grass. Do not let him get down there. There we go. Yes, I'm gonna land this fish. Yes, yes. Boom. Okay. That little crankbait, my friends, I love it. He got me down in the grass and I still managed to land him. There's that crankbait right there. Boom. Man, I just barely skin hooked that guy. Huh. All right, probably my smallest fish yet, but a fish is a fish and we will take him. And after several misses, that felt good. Heck yes, guys. Freaking so happy right now. So happy. I needed this. I'm so happy. Oh, there he is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They're all the same size, but man, they are fun. Yes. I love this crankbait. I am telling you, this thing is fun. Just straight fun. Holy smokes. A little bit better, a little bit better. He got it down there in the bottom of his mouth. Dag gum, buddy. We are popping them. Thank goodness I stopped at this pond. I'm so glad I found this. It's probably my best fish yet, actually. Beauty. All right, bud. What do you say? Oh, whew. Let's send that under the fountain. See if any bass are hanging by the fountain, man. Come on now. Come and get it. I can't believe I haven't caught a bluegill yet. That's wild to me. Like I know the little treble hooks seem to have a harder time hooking bluegill a lot of times, but if a bigger bluegill eats this thing, oh my gosh, it has no problems hooking bigger bluegill. Daggum it, I just missed that bigger bass. Shoot. I would love a big bluegill to come just torch this thing is what I was saying. That was a nice bass actually. Same thing happened with him. Torqued it, went down in the grass, pulled free. You know, you have to recognize when you're fishing ultralight equipment, especially when you're fishing treble hooks, you're probably just gonna miss some fish. You know, when they have all that grass and gunk to get down into, they are going to create bows in that line. They're gonna put you in a situation where it's gonna be harder and harder to catch them. A bass literally just jumped right there and then another one just came up what is going on right now? That fish just destroyed it while I was just stopped it. I stopped it literally 10 feet in front of me because a bass jumped for whatever reason and I was all distracted. And then this guy just hammers it. Man, I'm so happy right now. You guys don't understand. The Yozuri freaking snap bean is making my day. Oh, I'm so happy I found this pond. Yes. God, it never hurts to get on Google Maps and just look around. They're all similar size, man. A lot of like little 12 to 15 inches. And they are so much fun on ultralight, so much fun. I know I've said that about a thousand times, but I'm just being honest. I'm having an absolute blast out here. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. What is this? Another little bass? Okay, keep them out of the grass. Keep them up and out of the grass if at all possible. They all just dive nose down. They're just trying to get down in that grass. And as soon as they do, they know that they're gonna give themselves a chance to get off. This is definitely my smallest fish of the day. You know what? He was still fun. And he absolutely choked that thing. Holy smokes. I definitely had a couple short strikes, but most of these fish are actually eating it really good. Awesome. All right, buddy. See you later. Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk over this way just a little further. I'm gonna make like three casts. I'm gonna catch one more fish, then I'm gonna call it a trip. I'm calling it. I'm gonna catch a fish this cast. Haven't fished down this way yet. Here we go. One more, and then we're done. One more landed fish, and that's it. There he is. I knew I was gonna catch another. Oh, I missed him. I said one more landed fish. I get another chance. I get another chance. I know there's gonna be another one here just because I haven't fished this stretch yet. Literally, there's fish everywhere in this pond. Place is loaded. Gotta land one more fish and go home. Come on now. Come and get it, come and get it. 
Let me get it. There he is. Yes. Yes. I love that so much. God, they're fighting so hard today. They are angry, dude. They are freaking angry. God, this is fun. Yes. Yes. Get up here. Decent fish. Decent fish. Oh, he's barely hooked. Barely hooked. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. I freaking like this crankbait, man. I know I've said it about 450 times in this video. This thing is sweet. I've got several colors, but I think the pink one is definitely where it's at. This thing's awesome. All right, just a little chunk. Send him home. Thank you so much for the fight. Good times. Okay, that's gonna be a wrap, my friends. I was out here for like legit 30 minutes and I just straight up popped them on this thing. I didn't know whether it was gonna work or not. I figured, you know, maybe I'd catch some like little eight, 10 inch bass and probably some bluegill, but no, it's pretty much all bass and they were anywhere from about 10 inches to 15 inches. So that's always a great time. I was using two pound test, Trilene Sensation, a Daiwa Revros LT, 1000 and then the trusty old 13 fishing defy silver my friends you just can't beat it i had so much fun today thank you so very much for watching i know that this video was simple it was short and sweet and to the point and i had a great time this was one of my favorite fishing trips in a while mostly just because i haven't been fishing very much so this is pretty much my only fishing trip in a while but i tell you what i'm thankful to be here now time to go hang out with my family have a great night we'll catch you next time